The drought is unfortunately getting worse in Florida. I'm certified meteorologist Jonathan Kegis, and in this video, we are going to talk about the worsening drought conditions through the Sunshine State. And if there may be any relief in sight, it does look like we're going to have an opportunity for some widespread rain later on Easter week. And this is also going to come at the same time where a lot of the state of Florida is going to be really cool. Some of us, especially towards the Panhandle in North Florida, are going to be really, really chilly Easter week. Or at least going to be cutting off the heat anyway through Central and South Florida. So we are going to take a look at that. Stick around later on through the video and we are going to break that down. All right. Here is the latest drought monitor from the United States Department of Agriculture. And if you do want to stay up to date on all things weather in Florida hurricane season coming up on June 1st, please hit that subscribe button. We would love to have you on board if you find this content helpful. If you like it, please get that hit that like button. It really does help us out a lot. The severe drought category expanded to contain most of Central Florida. This is at the latest update from the United States Department of Agriculture. The drought monitor comes up, comes out every Thursday. It takes into account the rain from the week ahead from, from Wednesday through Tuesday, and then it's released on Thursday morning, you see here that brownish orange color, really from Cedar Key, almost to Palm Coast, and then points south into Fort Pierce, just north of Miami, including the Tampa area into St. Petersburg. Look at this, that red bullseye there, still in an extreme drought in Fort Myers. Can't catch a break. Obviously got some of the worst of Ian, and now we are in an extreme drought there is some relief in sight. We are going to get to that in just a minute. Hey, Orlando, we picked up a hundredth of an inch of rain on April 7th. All right. But look at this. The update in terms of the amount below normal. Now 6.26 inches below normal. Again, a hundredth of an inch of rain is not going to do anything. We need much, much more than that. Miami, we are the only spot in the green out of the cities listed here. We're more than three and a half inches above out of the very heavy rain uh, from the last couple of weeks, picking up almost 11 inches of rain on the year. This is since January 1st. Tampa, we are way below two, only 2.36 inches of rain at the rain gauge at the airport. We're pushing six inches below normal. Fort Myers, we're about four and a half inches below normal, only picking up about two and a quarter inches of rain. Jacksonville, almost seven inches of rain on the year. That puts us about three and a quarter inches below normal. We also have the fire threat really, really ramping up. All right, so here's the deal. What you have pictured uh, in terms of the fires burning, these are the fires that are not 100% contained. The active fires in Florida amount to more than 50. We are at 56 across the state that, that involves contained fires and non-contained fires. The ones that are 100% contained are 47. The ones you see here are not 100% contained, but I will tell you that all of these that are actively burning that are not 100% 100 contained as of this video recording on the morning of April 8th are more than 85% contained. So at least there's a positive note to that. But the conditions for fires have been growing. We've been talking about this on this channel a lot, that we are going to continue to see the fire threat worsen. Of course, the peak of fire season in Florida is about a month from now. It happens around Mother's Day. So we still have a long way to go, and we're seeing peak conditions in April. So if we don't get widespread soaking rain fast, we are going to get into a lot of trouble in terms of the fire situation. I always like to talk about the positives. We do have some good rain coming, it looks like. This is not going to bust our drought by any means. It's going to take us a long time. The wet season typically comes late May, early June, so we'll see if that ignites on time. That's when the sea breezes fire up and give us those daily thunderstorms. But here we go. We have this entity building in the Gulf, and if you want to watch a video more on that, you can click the link in the description, or there's going to be a thing that pops up in this video, you can click on that as well. Uh, there's a lot of buzz on social media, whether that is going to become a name storm or not. You can click that link. Again, that'll be much more on that specifically. But that system, what it will do is pull in a lot of tropical moisture. And you see it here. I think some of these numbers could even be underdone. Anywhere from Key West all the way to Pensacola, we're talking a widespread one to maybe even up to three inches of rain just from that thing. Uh, from Thursday 
and then into Friday. We also have a little bit more rain coming uh, with a weak cold front prior to that. But nonetheless, we will take it. What we can get, the best way to end a drought is not all at once. Of course, we don't want to go the other way and start flooding, but it's to start chipping away quarter inch here, half inch, maybe an inch or two. So, so far, we'll take the gentle rain. We'll do without the severe weather with that little entity. We could have some stronger thunderstorms on Thursday through Florida, but let's hope we avoid that and just get the good rain. I mentioned about the temperatures. Look at this. Look how crazy this is. This is Easter Sunday. Tallahassee, 57 degrees at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Jacksonville in the mid-60s. It's still going to be in the 70s, maybe sneaking into the low 80. I think this model forecast here is a little overdone on Easter Sunday. I think most of Central Florida stays in the 70s. And then we're back to the low to mid 80s still in South Florida as that cold front hasn't quite yet made it to us. Watch what happens as we get into Monday afternoon. It's still frigid for Florida terms. And Pensacola, look at that, 59 in raw. It's going to be cloudy. Tallahassee in the 60s, also 60 in Jacksonville, low to mid 70s through central Florida. As we're going to be locked in the clouds, some rain is going to be likely as well. And we're going to keep things nice and comfortable into Tuesday, into Wednesday. We'll break free from that cloudy, rainy pattern. A slight opportunity for some rain is going to be around Tuesday and Wednesday. But we're going to keep things on the cooler side. So a nice break from the heat. If you haven't enjoyed the 90s that have been around very, very early, we've been way above normal. It is the uh, one of the hottest starts we've had. And at least from an Orlando perspective, it's the second driest start on record. So it's been dry. It's been hot. But we do have some relief coming down the pipeline. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to this video Again, on the increasing drought, we keep an update on this every week for you. And we talk a lot of weather on this weather channel. If you do like to talk weather, consider subscribing to our new weather channel. It's called Just Weather. I'm going to have a link to that in the description. So please head over there. We post a lot of extra weather content. Certainly, we're going to focus on the Florida area a lot on this channel. But if you do like to watch weather content, hop on over there. Give it a like. Give it a subscribe. We'll catch you over there. And, of course, we will continue to update you on all things Florida and all things weather on this channel as well. Again, the latest update that I have on that Just Weather channel is a lot of buzz on social media about the potential for a system in the Gulf to get named. It's early. I would say there's an outside shot that it could get a name. But for the most part, it looks to me like it's just going to be a non-tropical system that's going to bring some beneficial rain. Again, you can hop on over. You can click the link in the description to watch that video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We will catch you next time.